Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and I'm back with another demonstration of the iPad camera connection kit and this time I'm going to try using a powered USB hub to see if that corrects any of the problems I've had using USB devices with the iPad. Viewers of my videos will know that I was able to use the Apple USB keyboard on the iPad but the pop-up messages pretty much made it useless and I think part of the problem is the keyboard requires more power than the iPad can supply and I think that's generally the problem with most USB devices plugged into your iPad. So let's see what happens if we connect the keyboard to this powered USB hub. And this is a Griffin Simplify which is a universal dock for your iPod and iPhone. It's also a powered USB hub. So let's go ahead and connect the keyboard. So we see the lights are lit. And once again, we do have a message that says the attached USB device is not supported. Let's dismiss that. Let's go to notes. So far, we haven't seen the pop-up messages reappearing or the virtual keyboard popping up and down again. Let's see if we can type. So far so good. And in fact I've already done a test of this and the pop-up messages haven't reappeared. So if you're really determined to use Apple's USB keyboard with your iPad, all you'll need is a powered USB hub. Now what about the other device I had problem with? The portable hard drive. Let's see what happens when we connect that to the powered USB hub. So this time we can see that the hard drive is fully powered. Uh, viewers of my last video will know that this was barely flickering when it was connected directly to the iPad. And the hard drive was not spinning. So we do have a fully active hard drive. And unfortunately, nothing is happening on the iPad. I don't have any message of any kind, so I'm not sure what the problem is. Usually I'll get some message that tells me the device isn't compatible or something like that. Okay, so I can't get any reaction from the portable hard drive. Let's see if a USB will work now. Once again, I have a USB loaded with photos. So let's see if this works. Unfortunately, we're still getting the message the attached USB device is not supported. So let's go to dismiss. So unfortunately, powered or unpowered, a USB doesn't seem to work. Once again, that's Detroit Borg with a quick demonstration of using a powered USB hub on an Apple iPad with the camera connection kit. Thanks for watching.